Good morning traders, 17th of June 2016. Uh, this is a new product. It's uh, the FX Argo Trader tick volume alert indicator but with the JFX front ends which means that you can control the underlying MetaTrader indicator using this Java FX interface here. So what we've done with this particular indicator is we've, we're representing tick volume using a histogram chart down here and what we've done is calculated the average and we're using in this case a 14 period moving average for the tick data and we've also calculated the standard deviation so this line here which is in I'm a bit colorblind navy this is our moving average and what I've done is overlaid four times the, S, the standard deviation over the top so you can see here this is our stat, four times standard deviation line and down here you can see this in this very faint white line that's our normal standard deviation which the indicator needs in order to calculate this multiple here and <clears throat> the interesting thing is in the old systems which we developed which would detect uh, tick volume alert data the trader had to draw a trend line through the highs and when the actual highs were broken the tick high or tick volume highs then the alert was generated uh, so what I thought in this version would be to make the actual indicator dynamically detect high volume situations by using standard deviation so on this this is a cable so it's a sterling US dollar chart on an hourly basis what we can see is if we scroll through back through time this is just over the last day or two you can see areas where you get high tick volume breaking through this four times standard deviation line here typically represent market turning points so look down here so you've got volumes increasing increasing comes through the standard, four times standard deviation level and guess what you've got a trend change pretty much around there and you've got an upside of about 145 pips in that case same thing up here so you saw this rally started to get very high tick volume around here and again around here and then it fell away again although it got very volatile in this section so we saw pretty much around here we've got a sort of 70 pip swing going all the way up to that level up there which is a this spiking up got about a hundred pip spike around there so again <laughs> Moving on, this this is just an alert being triggered. So we have, uh, I'll talk about the alerts in a bit, but uh, just briefly, it's telling us that on the 60 minute chart, our tick volume for the current bar is greater than the last bar by 50%. So you just see here this, this volume level here is now greater than 50% of the last uh, volume on the last bar. Um, that was a, a feature which uh, a customer requested in the old version, so I've carried that forward with this release. And moving forward you see the same thing again but really you're looking for kind of quite extreme volume changes where you're seeing this volume spiking through quite high above the, the four times standard deviation level and again we saw a fairly strong trend change there 150 pip swing to the upside um, on the higher time frames onto the dailies same sort of thing really so we look at look at the daily charts and if you start to see this kind of thing, I mean, you may want to increase your STD level, so if I could go up to say five, in fact probably six, and you start to see again, downturn, downtrend here, volume's beginning to spike, volume spikes there, trend change. Again, volume spiking through, trend change. Again here, uptrend, a little bit more, and then a correction, 300, well 200, 300 pips to the downside on that one. Going back again, you see the spikes around here. So we've got trend change, 100, 200 pips to the downside. You need to be careful with this. Um, you can't just instantly assume that just because you see a spike, and then next the next bar is going to be in the opposite direction. You need to wait for confirmation. But in this particular case, you see here's big down, this down movement. And then the next day, spiking up, and then trend change. 
So it's very useful. Look at this great example here. So big, big spike here. Yeah, lots of volatility in the market. Volatility, the volatility, this sort of lots and lots of volume on the tick data is indicative of the market in a congested state. It doesn't know which way it's going to go. So you tend to see this sort of like flux in a way. And then after that, you see it suddenly taking up kind of direction. That's a 550 odd pip move to the downside. Same thing, it just keeps going on and on really. So quite quite useful. The alert based functions will give you an alert when the current volume level uh, punches through the STD trigger level. And also you can get, as I mentioned before, an alert based upon a volume increase. So if you wanted to know when, say you've got a 200% increase in volume, I need to adjust that actually. It's the maximum allowed at the moment is 100%. Uh, I'll give people the option to increase that to say three or 400%, which would mean that that would be, allow you to detect cases where you've got huge spikes. In fact, you probably won't need that much, but, but certainly in this case here, actually you would. And that's, that's probably a Sunday there, that, that, uh, that little, these little tiny uh, days, these small volume days are normally Sundays where you've only got two or three hours of trading. And then the next day you're going to get a massive spike in volume. You wouldn't want to trade those because you'd expect to see huge volume increases on a Monday after the limited period of trading on the Sunday. But if you saw a big volume increase midweek, that's of interest. You may want to create alerts on that. The other thing which you can do with this job FX interface is create unique indicator conditions within each time frame. So again, here we're seeing this tick volume is greater than the last bar by 50%. That's another alert being triggered. And it's massively significant at the moment. But we may want to change the trigger levels for the different time frames. So in this case, you can see here I've got a full four times STD multiple for this hourly, whereas on the daily, which I was playing around with earlier, I can figure it at six times. So we can have different indicator conditions based upon time frame, which is totally unique within this JavaFX based approach. Standard and MetaTrader 4 indicators can only have one set of, of external input parameters, which is applicable across all the time frames. Whereas with our version here, the JavaFX version, we can control exactly what we want based on the time frame. So you can have unique colors, unique indicator conditions and alert conditions uh, for each time frame. We've obviously got email alerts and profiles. So for example, if I like this particular profile, uh, let's just change this to say, so we can see an olive MA color and got a blue standard, uh, standard deviation trigger level color and a black tick bar color. Um, if I wanted to then ripple this profile across to all time frames, I can, I can just save it as a profile. I'll call it test, save that profile. And if I click copy profile to all time frames to this asset, that means that when I go to all of the other charts, they'll have exactly the same profile. I can also copy a profile to all time frames on all charts. So if I select that profile, I've just I was just playing with and if I say copy profile to all time frames on all charts wait for a few ticks and then if I go to my euro dollar chart you can see that profile is then reflected and I click on the chart and there you go you can see our olive line blue line and all the rest of it so thank you very much for watching I'm going to be packaging this product up in the next day or so and then releasing it on the site so if anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Uh, look at that An amazing, huge volume spike there on this four hour euro dollar chart, followed pretty much immediately by a complete trend change to the downside. So 430 pips or so. So a very useful way to identify potential trend changes in the market. Thanks very much for watching.